what was this one again? Right. So do they you, were just they were sprouting, right? Do you remember how yellow this one gets? Kind of like a little bit yellower than this. As I recall them hanging on the trees up high, they looked green to me. This didn't Not really look, they didn't could have been cross pollinated. Now this one's showing signs of a golden mm -hmm. coconut, but it's not as yeah because you can see the difference in the uh the colors yeah but the one for marjorie's tree it's it's more like a like an orange color than mm -hmm. this and the fruits when they as soon as the fruits start forming they stay like an orange tint yeah well this they, tr this property i'm kidding you not they probably have 40 or 50 trees wow and they, they, you know just all just the way sitting around on the, the ground i think it was like five six acres wow of, um, is this the same tree you have over there the this seeds? is a necklace pod and it is a native and to you hear see why they call it necklace pod. Oh, that's so cool. What see. what would it feed like birds and yeah, birds, butterflies. When it blooms, these yellow flowers, the butterflies love it. Now this is what kind of fig is this? I have no idea. That, that, Probably that, brown turkey. Here. Yeah, this was here when we bought the property. Go check out them native trees. Do you ever get any? I think you said you got some good. Oh, figs. I got a lot of really good figs this year. They're yeah, figs they like to they like they're, to make on the straight yeah. they like to make on the upright branches right and these look, two look. i actually started off this one that's a big mulberry wow that's some big fruit on there you mind if i have try one? Oh, go ahead these are perfect i bet right, the birds the eat ever, them up ever bearing mulberry. oh and then uh tastes kind of like the one i have is when they really get loaded right, really but they, they produce year round have you noticed when you trim them they make a lot yeah Got another one over there. Uh, oh yeah, I remember that one. Put a number of air layers on these you know, the first year. Good idea. Just kind of spread them out. I mean, I'm amazed how they uh, they air layer so easily. Look at that. These are need to air layer them. I've had, really I've don't. Taken cuttings of these and piled them up like you know chop and drop mulch. Uh, and they just come and back up. Started sprouting on Man, the I have the best luck uh, air layering when it's. When it's warmer, because I tried doing the cuttings and I don't have luck in the winter time. Mm -hmm. It gets too cold there. It's too cold. That's right. But here is perfect. This is the white sapote, as you can see, it's blooming with trees. I like this one. I, I really appreciate the seeds you gave me. I've been growing them out. Oh, look at that. It's a dove. What is that? A dove? Yeah. Beautiful. Look at the. Look at all the flowers. I wouldn't mind trying to get you one growing that has a, a cultivar and you can really try some good fruit from it. I'd like to. Uh, and if, if anything. Because the ones at the uh, Fruit and Spice Park, I mean, they're like. They're gigantic. Yeah, they're like uh, the black like a, sapote. I know, it's, it's like amazing. I mean, I mean, they were just tiny, hardly any meat on them. Right. And, uh, Who knows? You know, these, it was mostly seed. Right. So These right here are probably like a good root stock. I'd, mm -hmm. Have you ever thought about trying to, I could help you trim it back and we can graft? Yeah, this needs to be trimmed up. Bad. I was hoping maybe this I, year I could get to that because I've had so many projects going. I still got to finish the roof. On right. The barn. I bet you another time I come, I can spend a day. We can trim it back, and we try to get you some name cultivars and a pot, and we can take cuttings from that plant mm -hmm. and graft whatever we trimmed. Because oh, when you I'm when sure. you when you prune this, you can, it, you can try to get to push a lot of energy in that graft at the top. Let's say you make a whole limb one variety of the big fruit. Mm -hmm. You can do the the youngin variety I think it comes from the Redlands. You can do some other cultivars that do good here. Mm -hmm. yeah, that would that'd be nice. That way you'll have some delicious fruits coming off of it. I mean there's nothing wrong with a small one but when you get a big one it's amazing. Yeah these are almost you know. Just you know, hits the spot. With. Right right. Only just for for like a root stalk. But these are pretty though and they're they're cold hardy. Oh yeah, that's the, big, that's the big one. But they're not still, I haven't gotten any fruit off this well, one yet. This is a little bit later than the others. Well, it, it really worked out for you. Think about it, you have one making every month. Yeah. Yep. The beginning, was it the beginning of December? Some of them are pretty good. Ready. A couple of them drop. And then here's some more palms. Already planted for me. 
that last part. You know, um, down the road we'll get you some different varieties so you can try different flavors. They got some that gets really big. Isn't that crazy? Very pricey. Oh man, this is beautiful. You just think this is a Sabra? That's a plantain. Look at that. You know the one the one you gave me, I gave it to uh, Margaret and them's parents and it's growing. Mm -hmm. We'll put some cow manure around it. I love the banana forest. My open almost spinach this year. Yeah, it's pretty warm. It's a good ground cover. Hey baby, look. Check out the banana. This is plantain. So this is the one we planted at your mom's and dad's place. So I'm gonna put cow manure around it to get it. You planted two of them, didn't you? Yeah, one's the Orinoco, and it's over there. We'll show you the little. It, it, uh, you get to see the. Isn't that cool? Yeah, the Orinoco. It's growing. Yeah, that one's that one's got a shorter banana, baby, but it is starchy. But it's more like on a banana side mixed with a plantain. And this is more starchy. It's already grown a lot. I love how big these are getting. Yeah, they're, they're Beautiful. Cool. Look at the little, the berry stain my finger. That's a lot of antioxidants. That's the, um, was that a peacock? Probably, yeah. I mean, or is that, is that chupacabra? That no, was the best way. <laughs> that was a chupacabra. <laughs> a what? Chupacabra? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the goat sucker. Watch out with your goats. What kind is this? The same? That's the same. That's uh, plantains too. I, I, we, when I get them, because there's so many of them, I usually give them to my neighbor. And he's, he loves them, don't he? Yeah, he's from. Uh, oh, nice. Look how good that is. He was, sent me a picture. In, uh, that looks good. Drying them. Nice. And it's ironic that same night when he sent me that, I sent him a picture back of we were doing oh, the same Oh, you were doing thing. the same thing. <laughs> Man, you can't go wrong with some plantains. They, so they hit good. the spot with everything. Spot. What was this one again? Variety? That I don't really. It was know. already it's a small. I call it a turpentine mango because it's really it's like, a, like a turpentine flavor. It's uh, mastic trees that uh, had in a pot here and forgot about it. And I think she would. Oh, known. cool. What? 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 Does it have a nut on it or? It's that yellow fruit that you saw back. Oh, the same one. Same, yeah. You know how cold hearted these are? I think they're pretty pretty tolerant. I don't know to what. Temperature. I mean, you only see them in South Florida. I've never right. seen them up north. They probably don't like it under 20. They're up at 30s. But this will yeah. overtake these mango trees. Is this this um, live, live oak? Same thing. Had them in pots and the guy kind of. Kind of works out. They you kind of mound them and they kind of grow through yeah. the. I was thinking of actually what I'm going to need to do pretty soon start bending these old, which they're doing kind of naturally anyway. Yeah. This one, but this one I got to get. Uh, Right. Yeah, that, that's going to look beautiful. Hey, I like that. It makes it look so much better. You say this one's not fibrous? No, that, that's a good this That's is a, a real good one. Mango. I have no idea what the variety is. But the, again, well, I, these trees were here when... Uh, we well, another option you could... When, if you, I, I can try to I can have a day off when I'm down here and help you if you want to knock him back. And then um, if you've did it before, they'll have little shoots come up and they're easy to graft. When they put out new growth, mm -hmm. that was already pushing out. Oh, that's cool. Because they, the best time to graft the mango, like I was telling you, when they have the new growth like that, yeah, you'll have like a ninety percent chance of it taking. That goes with a lot of plants when they're pushing out. This is another uh, live oak. What? What was this one again? That's one of the stockers, of, well, I think it's a Simpson. Simpson, native? Yeah, native. So yeah. this is your native section? Yeah. This is a white stopper. White you stopper. know, when you drive through that area of Mathis and Hammock and you smell that air, that fragrance, it's kind of almost like a skunk type odor. That comes from this. this. You pick it up early in the morning and late in the afternoon. Uh-huh. What was this one? I actually, you can smell it now. I don't know if you pick up on it. If you come over it's like this, a skunk a little bit. A little bit. Uh, Oh like, wow! Whoa! Smell that? That's from. That's this. amazing, and it's just coming from the. There's no some berries on it too. Every, that berries. does smell like a skunk. Yeah. Like you, like a dead skunk. Mm-hmm. But not as bad. 
Oh. Very interesting. Does it, is that the smell to yeah. attract something like a fly? Yeah, that, that's, that's from here. These other, uh, the Simpson and, uh, I forget the other names, or the other Simpson stoppers, they have very, very fragrant, like a rich perfume. To it. it. Very sweet. What is that's this only one? when they bloom, so. That's the only time that's they do it? That's soap berry. That's the soap berry? Yeah. That's the tropical one? Yeah. I need another one. I don't know if it's uh, making seeds. Or not. Maybe. It was. What was it? You had a one native tree that had a beautiful leaf to it. It was like a looks like a hand leaf. Oh. You told me it made berries sometimes. I think it's over here. There it is. Oh, the. Um, I've been trying to find seeds of these. The paradise tree. Yes. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Paradise tree. This is another oh, native. Blooms, you know, the fragrance is incredible. It? Wow. This lost a lot of its leaves. Yeah, it's probably just dropped some because of the weather. But they'll, they'll, it'll come right back. Can uh, you got to be careful with them because they might pop the whole sprout. Oh, from the cut. Yeah. Wow. They're pretty durable. Like goats love them. They feed uh, the, the branches and limbs. You know, oh, I didn't know they could eat it. Yeah, they'll, they'll eat it. Too. I should know better. They eat everything. Just about. <laughs> they still eating on the. They still eat on the, the strawberry tree. Yeah, they like. I've, I've got one back here. I keep getting rid of the tree because it's growing up under a roof, and I've been. Right. Down. Yeah, I love this right here. Love the bark. I think you had that was another native. Yeah, that. that. What's that called? I have to get some seeds from this. That's that's beautiful. Yeah, this is native as well. It's, I love uh, it. I wish more people were into the natives and just like mix it with their tropical landscape or any type of landscape of uh, food forest they're doing. That way it helps the birds out. Yeah, we try to keep a real balance to it. I'm just amazed how it smells like so strong. I actually, yeah. can, I don't smell too good often, but I can smell it. Mm -hmm. Listen, this, oh, they, this is the smaller bananas I was telling you about. These They're almost here. look like kind of purple, cool. like purple green. These are beautiful. They, they will, they'll get a little bit larger than that. But, uh, That's perfect though. Turn yellow. And see, they don't get super tall. You, you can, yeah. you can, can, you can actually reach them better. It's about as tall as it gets. That is fantastic. And here's another one up here. I didn't see this one blooming. Huh. Oh, wow. They're saying, I heard that um, as it keeps growing, when it, you get enough bananas on it, people say just cut off the end of the flower. Mm -hmm. Looks like it just drops it. Yeah, that one I actually cut. Oh, you did cut it? Yeah, that one I did cut. Is it, it makes the fruit bigger? That's where they, it pushes more energy into the fruit. But um, sometimes I leave the flowers, you know, for the you know bees and stuff like that. Other times I cut them off, like a working with nature. So good out here. Here's that same flower tree. The same takes over everything. You see, I mean, we battle this year round. Yeah, I was gonna ask you what what kind of plant is this? Um, this it's like, it's like little called, oranges. It's called orange jasmine. When it blooms, it smells it's like, like a, a oranges blooming. I hear it. It here's, is uh, labeled as a um, uh, invasive. Invasive. Uh, so it smells so good. Their their parents have one growing really big, but I've never got to smell the flowers because they're so mm -hmm. high up. Yeah, they're pretty pretty fragrant. They actually do look like a little orange. The little fruits. They don't smell citrusy. Just the flower. Sad. Yeah, they go crazy. I hear people use the the seeds and stuff. What kind of tree is this? That's that's a mahogany. Oh, that's it's the that's the, the native, Florida Florida yeah. mahogany. Florida mahogany. So it's native here. Yeah. Do you get a lot of? It came from all those over there. You see them across. The oh, that's cool. So do you still get a lot of seeds off this one? Oh. Uh, it's not the time of year, but it will. It, it does produce. Does this make a pretty wood? Next it's time one I'll... of those things that uh, you, 
the, the shell is so hard. If you hit it with your lawnmower, if you hit multiple, it, it just flies everywhere. Just oh, wow. Well, they say the wood's really hard. Yeah, it, it is. It's pretty though. And this one actually uh, went over in one of the storms. Oh really? This one has a different leaf than that Negroaguan one that I have. The one the Negroaguan has the longer leaves. Mm -hmm. I got another pepper coming up here. Too. Oh yeah, they just they sneak around. The birds spread right, right They up. love them. They can't get enough of them. It's just this is a perfect environment for the. Here's some of your uh, Mexican sunflowers. Yeah. yeah. They um they died back, but they're coming back. If anything, I'll get more from you. We're keeping tight reins on those things. <laughs> yeah, here here they would go out of hand, wouldn't they? Real fast. Is it just because of the cutting it back, or do they make this yeah, one? Yeah, wherever you cut them back, they just come up threefold, four, you know, three, four. Fold. What an adaptable plant! But they make a good chop and drop, don't they? And yeah, I think they you do, have to. I think you have to layer them. Spread down here in the rainy season. Oh no. The what ground's wet, they'll send even if you lay the uh, branches sideways, they'll just still do it. Roots wow. popping up all over the place. I figure I'd try them where I'm at and see how they do. I think I can control them better because of the cold weather. Maybe chop them back before uh, before the freeze happens because they're going to die back anyway. Yeah. And uh, the staghorn fern thing is doing really good. We got it on the porch mm -hmm. hanging. Really happy. These are the uh. What do you call these flower trees? Oh, that's the fringe of panning. I hear you can make stuff out of the flowers for like beauty products or for your skin. I guess. I don't... For like bruising or something, B12 or something, I heard. So it was crazy. I had a one long and variety called um, Kohola, the uh, Hawaiian one, and it was really cold hardy. It survived. But the other one, BK, it was still tropical. I guess it's more tropical. Mm -hmm. And it just died. And, and it was in the ground. So it's just it's showing me certain varieties of the long and can withstand some of that cold as long as you have it in like a like a windbreaker. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of the egg fruits they survived. They just got a little bit of burnt on the top. Yeah. The young ones. And um, this poor this uh, strawberry tree just did not like that under the under 25 degrees. But I, like you said, it's gonna pop back up. I checked the root; it's still alive. Mm -hmm. I put it in the warmer greenhouse. I'll probably shoot right back up. These are about the same coconuts. Yeah, they're from the same property. I've got about a dozen. These, these about three years old. So four, four, five. Yeah, yeah, probably three or four. Probably more like four. Four.